Hi guys, welcome to my food. I haven't cooked anything for a while. It's a simple. Um, today, tonight, I'm making um, soup. Uh, big fit, you know, no, big strong soup. <laughs> <laughs> this is um some of you already asked to for me to show how to make this. I made it before. It's a perfect um kind of food when for the winter. You know, it's freezing cold. I just had to show that's why I'm wearing singlet. And it's a perfect time to make a soup. It used to be cheaper by next expense because you know the professional chefs are using it now to make the the cooking shell. Now, it's expensive. It used to be free and cheap, but it's not poor man's food anymore. It's very yummy. When it's, I'm going to boil this, I should cut it in half, but I didn't, so I'm going to put it in there. <laughs> there it goes. Try to be nice, really, but it's jumping. I've got, already got water in there. Already got water in there, and I'm going to get another. Boiling water and boil it in there to, to cover the pig's feet. This is very easy to make. I'm going to need more water than this. Okay. Now the pig's feet in there, it's very easy, but it's, it's going to take a while to cook it, maybe four to three to four hours. Unless you want to make it five hours, um, I'll get my salt. What do you need? Is a salt. A little bit of salt in there. Don't put too much when you taste it, when it's really ready. You know how much salt you can put it in there. I've always used this salt. Or whatever. Okay. I'm putting in a couple of handful of this. I don't know if you guys know what that is. It's more like his own Chinese language, but you know, we in Australia we all use it. It's like a Bali's kind of stuff. Bees. Yeah. I'll put a handful of this. You don't have to put this in, but you know, because it's cooking for a long time, it's going to be. Um, this is supposed to be soaking with water, but I just use it like this because by the time a big feet just melts, it's, you know, it's falling apart, that'll be cooked too. If you don't have this, you can use a handful of rice, put it in there. Two onions, whole onions, I just peel them. Okay, um, 11 cloves of garlic, it depends how big the garlic you are. You've got, just put it all in there. And that's it. Uh, I buy this V8 in a can. It's like a normal soft drink can, but you can actually go and buy the V8 in a bottle and use the same. So I'm putting one in here now. You don't have to, but I like the, I like the color in my, you know, in my food. And give this a, uh, let it boil for an, an hour. And when it's half an hour, you can cut up the carriage and put it in. And then after another two hours, then you cut a zucchini because zucchini is cooking so quick. Okay, I'm gonna let it boil and I'll gonna work out what else I'll put in there, or maybe it's enough. You can put anything in here, but it's gonna take, and when you keep on stirring it when it's cooked, Oh, when it's boiled, keep a little, keep a little stir so it doesn't stick on the bottom of the, the pork skin because you know what pork skin is like. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. Hi guys, welcome back. Oh, big strand of soup still going. Has it been a little bit in an hour now, more than an hour now? I'm going to put lemongrass. It's so cut then because you can take it out when it's ready. Because we have a cake, we can put pepper in there and chili, but I love the chili and pepper in there so you can put your own when it's ready. Ok, 
Yeah, one spoon. A little bit. A spoon of um, beef stock. Just to give it a flavor. Okay. Is the onion in there? Two onion, whole onion. Um, lemon crust. Whole clove of garlic. And now let's put our carrot in. Keep boiling until you wait for another hour and then you put the zucchini. This is kind of a soup you like put it on earlier in the afternoon. See, because pork is a pork, pork strand, pork feet, pig's feet, so we put apple. That's two green apple. I just peel it and take the cord out and then it just melts through the soup. You won't even hardly taste it. Okay, then let it keep boiling until after another hour then I'll add the zucchini and maybe another hour is ready to eat. Let me give it another two hours. We'll keep checking it. Okay. We'll be back in a minute. Hi guys, <laughs> welcome back. Uh, my soup still going, it's been going on for nearly two hours. Yeah, nearly two hours, close to two hours. Um, I'm putting everything in there, the lemongrass, onions, garlic, carrot, um, some of this stuff, a bit of salt, no, one tin of tomato. The V8, you can, if you can't get in a can, you can buy the one in a bottle, the normal one. I put two cans, it's one already in there. Now, I'm gonna get a skip on that, just to give the nutty flavor. It's like a peanut flavor. Whatever, and that's all, just a little bit. Not too much, just a spoonful. Just give our soup that nutty flavor. It's going to be delicious with everything. The onion, all the apples dissolve. I put two green apples in there. Oh, pork still going, cook, still cooking. I think it's going to be still going for another hour and a half, at least. And the last thing I put it in there, it's um. Zucchini, cut it up small. Yeah, and let's shake that. I'll put a second can in there now. This come from overseas, you can't get it here. But you can get the one, the same one in out of bottle in the Woolworths. You don't have to do all this, you can just use water. Onion, garlic, and and for the rice if you want. But I'm doing that. And you can put anything in there. I had a young um, Aussie couple down the road. They were old friends. I made this before, and then um, I invite them to come and try. It. And they say, "What it is?" I say, "Oh, big straw." They both say, "Yeah." So when they get here. I serve them the bowl, the next minute they want another bowl, and they want to take it home, some to take home. Well, wow, it comes from yuck, so really yummy. It's a really yummy kind of food, especially in the winter. You can eat this with um, some toast, some buns, some rice, or by yourself. Or you can eat it with, um, what do you call, potato, anything. And you make it heaps because you, it tastes better, even better next time, you know, the next day. Then the next day, you can put it in the fridge or you can froze them. It's beautiful. This, um, this is my mum's recipe. And I keep changing it, I keep putting, every time I, I made it, I change it something else. I put something extra or take something out. But it all come out in the melts in your mouth that pork and the flavors you put in there is the flavor you're gonna get 
I can't put pepper in there because we've got a kid in there. Doesn't like Julian pepper. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. Hi guys, welcome back to our cooking show. Now it's been been nearly three hours now since we're cooking our pork, our pork feet. You know, it's starting to come out really nice and. You know, it's softening and so I already put the second tin of tomorrow. No, the tomorrow is um, what do you call? Yeah, and now now I put the zucchini. So the zucchini is ready to to eat, softening up, then we're ready to eat, and the soup is ready. Here's my tomato, oh my carriage. I find that I put it in too early because it's small. And then what like nearly three hours of cooking that if you find your carrots um getting cooked and you don't want to mash it in there, then take it out and put it in back later. Okay, thank you, and uh put this carriage in now. And gonna let it boil again. Bring it in up to the boil again until our oh, oh, sukin is ready. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. Thank you. Hi guys, welcome back. It's all done now. The soup's done. Look at that. Oh, nice. Uh, Forks cook so well. Imagine, remember, I'm gonna serve it now. You can cook it more to fall apart. But for me, I like it like this. So I can pick on it, you know. All the skin is soft and cooked. Okay, what we're doing is to have the, some soup on it. Yeah. Yeah, everything smells so good in the house and it's perfect for the winter weather, isn't it? So I'll put a bit of spring onion. And then get on the table. And everybody help themselves. There you go. Oh, pork soup. Beautiful. I'll get a spoon to this. Yeah, carrot just melts. Everything just melts in your mouth. Mmm. Mmm. That is so yummy. This is our pork feet soup. You can cook it more if you want it to fall apart in a pot. But me, I always cook it to make sure I don't, I don't want it to fall apart in there. So I want it all in my plate so I can enjoy it and eat it and have a bite to go with that and that's it thank you so much for watching and see you next time okay have a good night and good day thank you see you all